Hi, let's try to create this USB mouse. This is going to be a very interesting project. So let's get started. Now, in order to build a USB mouse or a USB 3D mouse or USB Air mouse, all we're going to need is this is the part list. Essentially, the heart of the project is Arduino Pro or Pro Micro or Leonardo. Basically, any Arduino which doesn't have an external USB chip, but it uses the microcontroller's built-in USB is needed for this. Now, you may question me why this is. Because such a microcontroller can directly act as a USB HID, like a mouse or a keyboard when you connect it to computer. The accelerometer that I'm going to use here is this, MPU6050. Uh, however, you can also use other accelerometers. This one was handy with me, so I'm currently using it. <coughs> I'm using two push button switches, which will act as left click and right click. Then definitely a micro USB cable, which you might require for downloading the code, as well as the communication between controller and PC, then connecting wires, and then breadboard. So these are the components required. Let's look at the software requirements. So I'll show you, all you need to do is you need to use this MPU6050 library. So if you are frustrated by some of the codes which are found online where you are not able to run the code, I'll show you how to make it run on the latest version of Arduino. So you don't have to do much hassles. I'll show you how to install those required libraries. These are the two primary components I have used, MPU6050 and Arduino Pro Micro. Now let me show you what is the circuit that you have to build for it. Now the circuit connections are very, very actually simple. All you need to do is you need to connect your accelerometer sensor with VCC, ground and the I2C connections. So VCC ground, I'm pretty sure you will be able to figure out. I'll just show you the I2C connections here. Now every Arduino version may have a different pin mapping for their I2C pins. So I'm using Pro Micro over here. And that's why for Pro Micro, I have this layout available. So pin number two is SDA and pin number three is SCL. So pin number two is, okay, I made a mistake. So pin number two is SDA. So let's connect pin number two to SDA. And let me keep it here for some time. That's it. Now let's bring it here. And that's it. Good. Now our circuit is almost perfect. So this is the I2C connection that I have done in my program. And then I'm using two switches, which will act as a left click and right click. The common of the two switches or the second pin of both the switches is made short or common and then connected it with the ground pin. Apart from that, one switch is connected to pin number 10 and another one is connected to pin number 16. This configuration is definitely reconfigurable. You can choose any pins you want. You just cannot choose I2C pins on your own, but you can choose the switch pins as you want. Now, let's look over the code. Now this is the program and I'm using, as you can see, the latest version of Arduino that is 2.1.0. Now this is the final code that I have created. To run this code, you're going to need only one external library and that is MPU6050. How you do that is simply go to sketch, then include library, then go to manage libraries. And then here, simply search for MPU6050. The one which will work is by electronic caps. So make sure that this is the library that you need. Nothing else is required for this project. So install this library and you can run the code. For you, when you create this program, what you need to do is, I'll show you what you need to do. You need to uncomment or comment this mouse movement and then add some additional delays over here. What will happen because of this is when you download your program, you will get to see the output. Okay, I'll connect my board here and now I'll upload this code. Let's just check it. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now let's upload the code. 
Now what happens is, I'll show you, you need to check whether your device is working well or not. So let me open the serial monitor. So once the program is downloaded, once the program is correctly downloaded, it will show you, hello, I2C begin. So these are the messages that will come up. Hello, code start, I2C begin, MPU sensor initializing. So if there is an error, the code will not go beyond this point. And after that particular point, you will start reading or looking at these readings. Once this is done, I'll just keep the mouse movement back and then we'll reduce this delay to 20 milliseconds. Now that's all there is into this. Uh, the switches can be modified in these two lines, the left click and the right click. So I have made pin number 10 and 16 mentioned here as well as they are mentioned right over here. You can change them as and when needed. Now let me upload this code. And let me uh, try to connect my camera because then you will be able to see what's happening here. So code is uploaded. Now this is the camera. Okay, I guess this is going to cause a problem. So I'll just focus the camera onto my board and we'll just have a small window right over here. Now look at my board. I think you can see it. So now let me uh, let me just minimize my Arduino window. Single click. Single click. Let me open my circuit diagram over here. Single click. Okay. So this is how the code is working. Uh, yeah. Let me just keep it aside. So this is. You can see the mouse movement happening right over here. So all you need to do is, this is an air mouse. Now, you just move your Arduino or move your board in any fashion and then you will be able to see your function. So this is single click. The left one is the single click. This one is right click. So you will see, I'll just refresh my screen over here. And it's fairly easy to use, see, there isn't much vibration. It's almost as good as or as natural as your regular mouse, except for the fact that it is 3D Air Mouse. So this is the project. I'll tell you the troubleshooting tips. Uh, first and foremost is follow the circuit that has been mentioned right over here. Okay, I'll do one thing. Uh, this is the circuit as it is. There is no change to the circuit. And there is no change to this code if you are following the same circuit. Both the circuit and the code are given along with this video. So I don't think so there will be any problem for you and you will be easily be able to replicate this project. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.